Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We took care of some more assignments last episode. This episode, we are going to get right into going to Vermeer. Vermeer is our next, let's see. If we go to our next mission, Vermeer is our next mission step to the main story. We're gonna go do that. I think I'm powerful enough. I have good enough weapons. I have good enough armor. I think we're ready to go, but let's go talk to the crew a little bit first. What do you say? Let's go talk to the crew and see what everyone is up to. And there's no crew back there. All right, Caden, what's going on, man? What you got to say? So awkward. Need, Commander? Every time, it's so awkward. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the Stonewall that you've had from the Council. They deserve to know what we're up against. They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Another L2 flare-up. Another L2 flare-up? What's an L2 flare-up? Anything I can do? No, Commander, it'll settle down. It's rough sometimes, but they spike higher than a lot of L3s. Except for you, of course. Besides, I fared a lot better than some after Kinetics was through. Got a story there, Olenko? You know the records about the biotic training out on Jump Zero? They're all classified. Because the Alliance made mistakes. After first contact, Kinetix was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetix could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Ah. Huh. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link biotics and Ezo. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Kinetics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think. Asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. I'm sure Kinetics did what they thought was best. It wasn't best for us. They brought in an ex-military Turian named Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Got on spiraling from there, Commander. You're a hell of a biotic, though. You must have done something, right? Well, I got to where I am because I took initiative. Good or bad, I own that. Pretty much despite kinetics. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. I wonder if this is new or if I just basically missed this uh, earlier. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Good stuff, though. Good stuff. All right, we'd already heard we'd already heard that from Miss Asher. Let's talk to Rex. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as. Such as I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. He was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop <laughs> his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. Let me guess, he shut him up. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I 
told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged to crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met in the hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead lay bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, Whoa, well, it's his dad. there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. Oh man, Rex. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Yikes, Rex. That's a tough story right there. All right, Garrus, what's up, man? All right, I thought I had something for to talk to uh, Garrus about, but I'd already heard of that story, so we're gonna keep going. We're gonna go down here and talk to uh, talk to Tally. Let's see what she has to say. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Uh, you seem happy. Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. Uh, like what? What are you hoping to find? Usually, people bring back something like a derelict ship we can use for salvage. But I need something bigger. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. 17 million is in people. His hands, and I'm his only child. Oh, wow. <laughs> Your royalty? So, are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than mo than mo than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies, and they're not above using me. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I fail. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What if we save the galaxy? I think that would be good. The work you're doing here is more important than anything any Quarian has ever done before. Yes, I know. But you have to understand Quarian culture. We're a very insular society. The events beyond the flotilla don't much matter to the average citizen. Our greatest dream is that one day we'll return to our homeworld and drive out the Geth. But even if we stop Seren, that's not going to happen. There's still millions of Geth behind the veil. Until they're gone, our exile will continue. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Seren's control. 
We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. Huh. All right, so we got some codex for that. I don't know if it's gonna put anything in our journal or not to like find something for her. Uh, Engineer something Adams. I can do for you, Commander. And uh, carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Let's see if we can find Liera. She's in the same room where the doctor is, right? So, all right, I believe it's gonna be in here. Liera, is she back here? Yeah, I don't think I've talked to Liera in a while. Let's see what's going on here. Hello, Liera. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Very nice of you, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you. Ooh. And making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Yeah, we're short-lived, that's for sure. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. 150? That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. Uh, you could have asked. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted <laughs> to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. So we got I some... There might already be Hold a relationship on. between you and Chief Williams. Ooh, let's see. Interesting. Should we get some uh, some little alien and shepherd love going on, or should we stick with uh, Ashley? Let's say. Let's say it's not Williams serious. And I are just friends. Nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? Let's see what it happens if I say I'm attracted to you. No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Don't analyze it. thinking like a scientist. Logic doesn't work when it comes to relationships. Just let yourself get swept up in the storm. 
You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. <laughs> I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, All right, Shepherd. we're gonna go. We kind of swooned uh, Liara there. I don't know how that's gonna fare with uh, Ashley. I don't know if we're gonna be able to keep up that same relationship as well. Yes, Commander. Is there something nah. you need? No, there's nothing that I need. Goodbye. Nothing that I need. Okay, cool. All right, so we've talked to the crew. Uh, that's Liara again. All right, so we talked to the crew. We are ready to go off to Vermeer. So let's get to the galaxy map. Let's look at our journal again. Let's go to missions of Vermeer. Head to the Vermeer. Head to Vermeer and rendezvous with the Solarian team. Okay, let's do that then. Transmission coming in, Commander. I think you're going to want to hear this one. Uh oh. Greetings, Commander Shepard. I represent a party interested in obtaining information on Cerberus activities. Who are you and who do you represent? Who I am is inconsequential. Suffice to say, I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. You see, Admiral Kahoku contacted my employer looking for information on the location of any Cerberus facilities. We provided that information on the promise that he would turn over copies of all files gathered from the Cerberus systems to us. These are classified Alliance files. I'm not handing them over to you. Be reasonable, Commander. Cerberus was operating outside Alliance jurisdiction. You don't owe them any loyalty. The Alliance is just going to file this information away in some archive. No secret stays hidden forever. Eventually, someone somewhere will deliver it into our hands. Might as well be you. Transmit the files to us and you will be well compensated. Why do you want them? What are you going to do with this information? The information is a commodity. It can be bought, sold, or traded. Why my employer desires this information is not my concern. I am only the buyer. Mm, no deal. My loyalty is to the Alliance, not the Shadow Broker. That is unfortunate, Commander. My employer will remember this the next time you need something from us. Ah, uh, what did I just mess up? I just messed up something, didn't I? That's okay. He wasn't getting that stuff. All right, Vermeer. Is there any other system here? No, it's just this. Let's travel. All right, let's look around. Nothing to survey or anything like that. Maybe I already did this. I'm not real sure. Let's go to Vermeer. All right, we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take Caden and we're gonna take Garrus. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them up. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. All right. Clean drop, oh. Good job, Joker. Stay out of range and continue evasive maneuvers until I bring those AA towers down. I know the drill. Meet you at the camp once those towers are offline. Joke around. Alright, so we're in the Mako. I don't imagine those little guys are safe. That is not one tucked away back here, is there? No, 
You stop shooting at me. No, go away, go away. Okay. You're down. You're down. Gotta level up. You're down. You're down. Uh, no, 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 no. It missed. Only three more red dots left. Whoop. Well, five more. Two are stacked on top of each other. What else? Oh, hey, little, little buddy. I'm gonna go around this way. There's gonna be some more things to kill. We're at, okay. Let's keep going. Oh, look at that lightning. That's kind of crazy. Tons of lightning. Uh-oh. one behind me there's this guy over here wow okay are we there yet mom are we there yet oh no Oh, yeah, I did see more. There we go. All right. Um, what do we do here? Let's get out. Yo, where's that coming from? Okay, they got him. They got him. Good. Wait, what do we have here? What do we have? Who? What? Who has what? Let's see. Okay, pit. that's fine. That's fine for here. What do we have around here? Is there any loot? There we go. Manual override. Take it all, kid. All right. Oh, hello. Bad decision. You should have just joined our team. Oh, wow. This one is uh, going to be hard to get in. We may just override this joker. That's what's, that's what's gonna, wait, what's happening over here? Oh. Okay. Any more? They're dead? All right, let's try this again. Except override using Omni Gel. What is this over here? Can I use this? Nope, can't use that. All right, back to the Mako. What do we got here? 
I see the red. Oh, hey, big boy. Uh, that wasn't too bad. That one's far away. We got it, though. I thought we got it. There we go. Whoop, nope. Wait, what's shooting me? I guess I go this way. Maybe both ways will get me the same place. Sweet. Okay, we got two big boys around the corner here. Oh, that's a big one. Get me out of here. go yeah one more big one like that excuse me just coming through all right let me let me pass this thing excuse me I'm just gonna run over you god excuse me again here can i run over you again <laughs> yes just lay down. No, don't shoot yet. I'm just gonna run over you. I'm just gonna run over you again. Yep, thank you. Yeah, you just lay down right there. And you're dead. There we go, cool. That worked out. <laughs> Probably not how you're supposed to fight them. What do we got up here? Okay, All right, I don't see anything. There's our target. There's our target, where? Oh, there you go. Anybody else want to poke their little heads out? Anybody? How about up there? Anybody up there? Oh, I killed something. What about over here in this corner? No, what about right here in front of me right here? No. Anything right here? Let's try it right here. No, it looks like we're going to go up and kill the rest. Our own. Okay, so. You got stairs over here. Okay, okay. Go up here and you up there. Both of you. Come on, come on. Come on, Caden. We got them all, Shepard. You didn't get them all. No way you got them all. Did you really? It's kind of cool if you did. All right, take all those. What are we looking for in here? They said that's our target, so we must be looking for something here. Oh, see there? You didn't get them all. Now I'll go get them all. There we go. Yeah, 
shoot him. See there? That's how you do that. Yo, Garrus. Yeah, you can. Target not acquired. Okay, fine. All right. Good job. Good job, everybody. Manual override. Let's go. There we go. Got some good weapons there, it looks like. All right, so here we can do something with these terminals. Let's see what we can do. The generator's still active. Gate override offline. I didn't mean to do that. Let's turn this one on. I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander. Okay. On approach to the Solarian base now. Out. Joker. Ready to move out, Commander. Well, why do I still have a... Why do I still have a freaking exclamation mark? Oh, it's probably down below us. Gotta go open the gate now, probably. Okay, we had to press that one again. And now it's opening the gates. I can hear it now. Okay. I don't know how to go back to that terminal. All right, good deal. What is happening right here? Just stop. Just stop, Mako. Just whatever. Just, Mako, just whatever you're doing, stop. Okay, let's go. Whoa, what does that sound? It looks like the Normandy, actually. Yeah. Got him. There's some more people up here, maybe. There we go. Got one back there. Nothing here. All right, we're gonna have to go up there ourselves. So more gates to open is what's going on right here. All right. Let's get out and go up. Here. Y'all go out there. Y'all go before me. See there? That's why you go before me. Boom. Hey boy, Garrus. Area secure. Way to make yourself useful. Starting to get the big guns now. Or bigger guns. Nope. Caden. Good job, buddy. Excellent work there, Caden. Real proud of you, boy. All right, what do we got over here? Some a little bit tough too, huh? Got in there. I don't know how. Luck. It definitely wasn't skill. That's the last one. We should be able to reach the Solarian camp. So all we had to do is press one button in here to get these gates open. Why isn't the other one like that? All right, Mako. Nothing but smooth turns, Mako. Yeah, real smooth. There's no enemies. Why not? Oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? They're 
go to Solari. Okay. Oh, cutscene. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. <laughs> You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. Is he here? Have you seen him? No, but his Geth are everywhere and we've intercepted some comms referring to Saren. This is his facility, there's no doubt about that. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. Oh, that's not going to be good. Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army? He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. Yo, if that cure Rex. This planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. Is he going to be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks like things are a bit of a mess. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might, actually. Just do it carefully. I'll be careful, but be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. All right, we gotta go talk to Rex. Uh, apparently, they are researching how to cure what's killing his people, but they're researching it for a bad reason, to form an army of Krogans. So let's talk to Rex about this what's going isn't on. Right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the Genophage, we can't destroy it. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. Whoa. I can't let you jeopardize the mission. So that's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you not see what this means to the Krogan? This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. We're not killing Rex. We're not shooting Rex. Signal Ashley to kill Rex. Shoot Rex. Let's try to, let's try to, these aren't your people. These Krogan are slaves of Saren. Puppets, tools to be used and discarded. Is that what you want for your people? No, we were tools from the council once. Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. We almost had to kill Rex. That would have been bad. What's in here? Decryption skill too low. Fine, whatever. 
All right, am I supposed to talk to everybody while we're over here? Let's talk to Ashley. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready. When no, we don't have to do anything. All right, what's the journal say? Vermeer, prepare for an assault. Prepare your team for the assault on Saren's base. When you're ready, go talk to Captain. Okay, we'll just go talk to Captain. We're ready. Maybe we should look at our uh, our weapons real quick. Let's see. Uh, do I have a better pistol than the one I'm using right now? 252 damage. All right, we're we're going to keep this one because I like the heat sink capacity. Let's see if we can even throw a. Uh, Let's see, do I have... No. I was going to see if there was something else I could put on it to like keep it from me. Like the coil, the kinetic coil. I could put this on there. Yeah. There we go. Let's put that on there. Okay, this one's much better. I never use this though, so I'm probably going to give this to somebody else. Whoever's going with me, I'm probably going to give them this avalanche right here. All right, let's talk to the captain. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Okay, where? Where do we take the nuke? And how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. Oh, no. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? <laughs> all right, we're going to take Caden because I really liked how Caden's been uh, working with me. And uh, we'll let Ashley go with the Solarians. Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. Oh, now wait. I have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation. Sequence. I clicked the wrong thing, I guess. Any questions before we I go thought through. that meant, I thought that meant, um, keep, when I chose it, I thought that meant keep Caden with me, but I guess not. Uh, do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Uh, I'm ready. Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. Dang it. Fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. Is there something you wanted to say, Caden? It's just weird going under someone else's command. I've got so used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry so much. We'll see you on the other side. I know, I, um... I just wanted to say that it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We're still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden cracks. The 
These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good nice enough, speech. I hope we will meet again. All right, since I can't take Caden, I'm going to take Ashley and I'm going to take Garrus. Let's accept that squad and let's go. Okay, so we're going on foot now, huh? All right, let's go. Shadow is on the ground. Shadow is on oh, the ground. Oh, no, no. Fire is coordinated on Monovai team. We can't reach the guest turrets. They're out of range. Let's see. What do we got up here? Come on, one more, one more. He's trying to get me. Oh, he did get me. Lost my shields. Why won't they move when I ask them to? Got that one up there. Can't see him. Let's see if I can. How about that? Did I get him out of his little hole? Nice. Okay. Good job. Let's get this. Easy decryption. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Geth communications is disrupted. All right, where do we go from here? Back down. Down and around, okay. Uh oh, music's pumped up now. Go. Nice shooting. Where do we go? That way or this way? What's back here? Oh! Okay, okay. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Go out there. Go out there. I'm stuck. Did they get it? They did get it. Okay, cool. They're calling sat strikes. 
Teodo, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? Maybe all this comes around, you know? Yeah, this probably comes to the same spot. Whoa! that can shoot faster than that but it definitely can there we go there we go many gels Where's this thing that I have to disable? Where is it? Must be underneath. Nope. Oh, there we go. Satellite uplink disrupted. All right, good deal. Let's keep going. Come on, poke your head back up. am I supposed to go though because there was you could go that way too oh no Got him. Good shooting. Nice. Oh, is he not dead? I thought he was dead. That was close. What do we got over here? Holding ground. JNO around me. Shadow team must be getting close. I guess this was the right way. Oh, we got enemy all over the place. We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for Lieutenant Lanko and the Solarians to handle. Uh-oh. Uh, they can handle Alenko it. can take a few more. Minimize the guard presence in the base. Aye, aye, Commander. I hope Alenko's paying attention. Renegade. Got one more up here somewhere. I 
I'm not searching these bases very well. I'm going to go back here and search for some stuff. I don't even know if there is anything back here. What are all this stuff? All right. Got a little red in front of us. Is someone out there? Who is that? Who's talking? Easy decryption. All right, for Codex, nothing more. Okay. Decryption skill too low. Do I go on this or do I go on this door? What's over here? Maybe that gets us up just by the stairs instead. Everything's locked. What do you want? I told you everything. I. Who are you? Alliance, right? I knew someone would come. It tried to break me, but it couldn't. I shut it out. Nobody's going anywhere till I get some answers. Private Maino Savata of the 3rd Infiltration Regiment STG, sir. Captured well on reconnaissance six days ago. Glad to answer, sir. Never any questions from these bastards. Just whispers and poking. Got it. I've said anything to get out and get some payback. That's not too much to ask, is it? A little payback? What do they do to you, soldier? Experiments, but I don't know what for. The effect of incessant whispering on my shortening temper. Who knows? I just need out. Something's not right here, Commander. Setting him free could endanger the mission. No. No! I, I need to get out. This room is too small and it keeps talking and I really want to get out of here and get some work done. I need to get out. Let me out. Nah, sorry, can't, can't risk it, bro. Chance. Can't take that chance. No chance. I need to do what it says. I have to. Let me out. Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! Whoa! All right, renegade on that one too, really? What about you? Okay. All right, let's go back down. Up, uh, go up here. Both of you. Get out there. Get out there and shoot. Good jobs. I can't carry any more medi gel. Get down there. Hey, Ashley, go down there. Okay, I can't get in here. Okay, we have to go back. All right, now we're gonna take the elevator. Don't know where it's taking us. So this is where those things are created, huh? Oh no! Okay, 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 okay. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Uh, let's get you in. Stasis for a second. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Uh, where can, what can I do? Uh, let's throw him. There we go. Now, my gun. Stay back. This is important work. This is the glorious salvation of my species. There we go. There we go.
Anybody else? So that was a Krogan trying to say this was for his species. Glad Rex isn't with us. Where to now? This way, I guess. Oh, no, no. My team's got some good shots, man. I'm liking it. They're helping out a lot. A little different than most companions. Don't shoot. Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. I'm not going to hurt you. Who are you? Ranathanoptis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth dying over, or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. I thought this was a breeding facility. Not this level. We're studying Sovereign's effect on organic minds. Sovereign's effect. I assumed, Saren kept us in the dark as much as possible. You helped him, and you don't even know why? I didn't have the option of negotiating. This position is a little more permanent than I had expected. But I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. Saren uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage, too. Tell me more about this signal. Signal's not exactly the right word. There is some kind of energy field emanating from the ship. It changes thought patterns. Over time, days, maybe a week, it weakens your will. You become easier to manipulate and control, but it's a degenerative condition. There's a balance between control and usefulness. The less freedom a subject maintains, the less capable it becomes. Why is Saren researching this? Isn't he the one controlling it? The signal comes from the ship. It makes us obey Saren, but I don't think he controls it. Not exactly. I think he's scared it might be affecting him. Hmm. Indoctrination is subtle. By the time the effects become noticeable, it's usually too late. Interesting. What do you mean by collateral damage? Sovereign's signal is too strong. Spend too much time near the ship and you feel it. Like a tingle at the back of the skull. It's like a whisper you can't quite hear. You're compelled to do things, but you don't know why. You just obey. Eventually, you just stop thinking for yourself. It's like Benesnia. It happens to everyone at the facility. My first test subject was the man I replaced. Now I just want to get out of here before it happens to me. So Benesnia was that way. I wonder if it's really Saren controlling Benesnia. I wonder if it's Sovereign controlling Saren and making Saren do things. I'm going to blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Oh. Oh! <laughs> I enjoyed that. All right, before we go into Saren's office where all his personal files are and everything, I'm going to end this video. So we're on Vermeer. We're maybe halfway through it. I don't know. But we're about to get into Saren's office, and there's no telling what we're going to find. We'll pick up right here in the next video. So I appreciate you watching. If you made it this far, please hit that like button for me. And if you're a new viewer, subscribe and come back for the rest of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.